What's up? My name's Aaron and I'm a teacher at youthdigital.com and I am going to be showing you today how to set up GIMP so that you can make images for Minecraft. If you're making Minecraft mods or you want to just do some Minecraft art and you want to use GIMP, the problem is if you just download it and start using it, it doesn't really work that well for pixel art. So I'm going to show you kind of how to rig it, how to kind of manipulate it so that you can use it to make images for Minecraft. And what is that going to include? Well, first of all, uh, I already have GIMP installed, so you should already have GIMP installed, but I'm going to be showing you how to make a new project with a nice transparent background. You don't want a white background for your image in Minecraft. The other thing I'm going to be showing you is how to edit your keyboard shortcuts so you can work a little bit more efficiently. And the last thing I'm going to be showing you is how to set up your presets so that you can quickly make pixel art. Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna open up GIMP down here. I have it pinned to my taskbar. That's how much I love making these images. I got it pinned to my taskbar because, you know, I like speed dialing GIMP 2.8. Little, I don't know if it's a, is it a rat or, or a fox. Anyway, when GIMP first opens, it might look a little bit crazy. So, you know what I like to do? I like to make this thing full screen Boom shakalaka. And first thing I want to do, I have all these toolbars that I don't really need. These layers, we don't really need that for GIMP. Close out of that. This toolbox, I like the toolbox, but I want my tool options to be kind of beside my toolbox. Very cool. Awesome. Now what I want to do is actually make a new project. So I'm just going to either click File New or Control N for New. <clears throat> now it says width 640 height 400 well if you know your minecraft you know that all the images are 16 pixels so you type in 16 by 16 okay but your work's not done yet setting up this new project you have to click on advanced options and now you want the fill with background color no no we want to fill with a nice transparency so we click on that and then we click okay now we'll see a little tiny image way in the distance back there which is not going to be very useful for us so you might think well how do I zoom in uh, well I could click on this little zoom tool but you know what this is a good opportunity to set up a really useful keyboard shortcut okay so how do you set up these keyboard shortcuts I want to set up a keyboard shortcut that's gonna let me quickly zoom so that it's boom full screen okay so how do I do that I want to click edit up here in the top left corner and then I want to edit the keyboard shortcuts. Okay, now, oh my goodness, there's like a million keyboard shortcuts. And you, this isn't a lot, but if you expand one of these, there's like a million more. So, don't worry, I'm going to tell you the most important one in my opinion. You want to open up View over here, and then you scroll way down. Whoa, okay, keep scrolling, keep scrolling, keep scrolling. Just keep scrolling, just keep scrolling. Ah, here we go, this one. Fit image to window. That is a super useful shortcut, okay? Often in like uh, illustrating programs, Adobe Illustrator, it's control zero, but it's not set up like that. Right now it's set up as shift control J. That's not a very useful shortcut. So you know what I like? I'm gonna go ahead and click on it where it said shift control J and it says new accelerator, is that what it says? Uh, okay, well it's basically saying you want to type in your keyboard shortcut. So I'm gonna, I like control plus. Boom, and you see that? Now it says control plus equal sign, and that's because, you know, the plus is also kind of the equal sign. Okay, now moving along, uh, the other ones that I like here, zoom in, is actually the plus sign. Now if you want to hit the plus sign, uh, you're going to have to hit shift plus, because you know the plus is above the equal, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that and I'm gonna just change it to a regular plus sign or equals. Boom, now zoom in is equals and zoom out is already minus. I'm gonna go ahead and set that to minus. Now those are the most important ones. Click close. And now what did I set my keyboard shortcut to? Control plus, well let's test her out. Hiya! And now we have this awesome full screen 16 by 16 image. Okay, that's the first set getting set up with your keyboard shortcut. Now what you're gonna wanna do is set up a couple of presets, a preset for a pixel pencil and a preset for a pixel eraser so that you can just make little pixel dots on your drawings because you know, Minecraft is all about pixels, all about blocks, all about awesomeness. 
So you'll notice that if I try to draw on this right now, okay, that is not very useful for Minecraft. Okay, if I wanted to draw like that, that's not what we want. So I'm gonna hit Control Z. Control Z in pixel art is your very best friend in the whole world. You just kinda mess around, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, and you see what you like, okay? Control Z is undo one of my favorite keyboard shortcuts in the world. So anyway, let's set up these presets. Now the problem is I see my tool options, I see my toolbox, I don't see my tool presets. I need my presets. Well, I need to open a new window. Up here is Windows. And, oh, you know what I need? A new dockable dialog. Now, of course, you might think that's a strange name. So do I. That's okay. It's kind of one of these windows is a dockable dialog. So I click Windows, dockable dialog. Oh, excuse me. Dockable dialogs. And what do we want to open? Down here, tool presets okay and if we wanted later we could set up a keyboard shortcut to open up the tool presets but that's for another day tool presets and here we are got my tool presets the problem is I look down here and I have my airbrush that's not very useful I have my basic knife uh, I'm definitely not going to be using that for pixel art don't know why I need a knife for pixel art but there you have it I got an FX confetti, okay, awesome glow lights. Anyway, needless to say, we need to make a pixel pencil preset, a PPP I call it, pixel pencil preset. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna click on the pencil tool over here in the toolbox. Okay, very good. Now I'm gonna click, oh, what in the world? Well, here's the deal. If I look at my tool options, my pencil size is 400. Now, uh, the thing is this canvas here is only 16 by 16. So I'm gonna undo that and I'm gonna change this. I can just type in, oh, excuse me. I can just type in 1.0, one or just one and press enter. And now I have a nice little pixel pencil. Awesome, okay, control Z, control Z, excuse me, I don't want those. Now, I have this working but I have to set up the preset. So over here in the tool presets, I see I have this nice create a new tool preset option. Don't mind if I do, GIMP. There we go. Now, here's the deal. Okay, it wants me to name it. Okay, what if I do what I was calling it earlier? Pixel, pencil, preset. And all I have to do is click save and X. Now, let's say I get here and I'm accidentally on this crazy tool uh, all I'd have to do is click on my tool preset. Oh, pixel pencil preset. Excuse me. Oh my. Okay, here we go. Click on that. Sometimes you have to maybe click on something else first and then click on it. There we go, and you're good to go. Okay, now the problem is I draw, I draw, I'm having a good time, and I need an eraser because this doesn't look very good unless you're doing kind of abstract Minecraft art, which you might be, you know, who knows. So I need an eraser. Okay, so I'm going to select the eraser tool. The problem with the eraser tool, check this out. That's not the kind of eraser you want. You see how that's kind of a little bit fuzzy. You want to just erase one pixel at a time. So... How do you do that? Well, I'm looking at my tool options here, and okay, size one, that's good, but let me scroll down a little bit. This is what you want. They try to hide it from you, GIMP does. You just have to scroll down, or make this bigger, and right at the bottom here is hard edge, which means that it's not gonna kinda softly erase. It's gonna do a hard, boom, erase one pixel at a time. So click on that, and then, look at this. Hiya, hiya, take, that pixel and that I yeah okay so that's all well and good now I just need to save this preset so I'm gonna click on this little create a new tool preset and there we go I'm gonna call it the pixel eraser preset and of course it doesn't have the same ring as pixel pencil preset but what are you gonna do click save there we go now I can just switch between my pixel pencil and my pixel eraser okay Awesome, very cool. And now all you really need to make beautiful Minecraft art is your toolbox and your tool presets. Because now we don't need these tool options because we've already kind of configured them. So I'm gonna get rid of this. And let's say you open up GIMP next time and something horrible happens, which it can, where suddenly, <gasps> where are my talkable dialogues? And basically what you have to do, you go back to your trusty Windows option 
And actually, this toolbox here, that was the one on the left, the toolbox, new toolbox. And look at that, there is already a preset set up for that, control B, but new toolbox. And there's your, I don't know why by default it's so skinny. There we go, there's my toolbox. And I also want to Windows, Dockable Dialogs, Tool Presets. There we go. Now I am ready to create some Minecraft art. So, uh, I'm just going to show you a couple of tips and tricks when you're using this program to create pixel art. First of all, let's say um, by chance you make something of a monstrosity like this. And, you know, some of you might like this. I don't know. I don't want to judge. But let's say you don't and you want to delete all of it quickly. Well, some of you might want to click on the eraser and go, <laughs> but that's not a good use of your time. Here's what you can do. You can select all of it and delete it. Here's how you select all control A. Control A, and you can't really tell that it's all selected, but it is, and then you just press delete. <gasps> oh no, my masterpiece. Don't worry, I, I think I can make something better. So now that we have all that deleted, control A, delete, there's just a couple of things you want to know. I'm going to select my pencil my pixel pencil preset and um, I'm gonna make a sword right now okay so the thing you need to know I have my pencil but I want a color other than black control Z control Z I'm just gonna over here in the toolbox click on this little black color and I'm gonna select by going up and down like so maybe I'm gonna make like a red fiery sword so I select up here nice red color very cool press OK and look at that, that looks kind of cool. Now there's one thing you might want to know, which is that I can click like this. Let's say you want to make a straight diagonal line like so. You could do that if you didn't value your own time. Or look at this, I click here once, and then I hold Shift, and look what happens. It might be hard for you to see, but I click and I hold Shift, and then I click here, and you can make a straight line like that, just with two clicks. Click, hold Shift, boom, like that. All right, pretty cool, pretty cool. So that's going to be the center of my sword. Then I'm going to, here's another trick, guys. Pixel art all about shading. So I don't want to go and make another color. I just want to make this one a little darker. So here's what I can do. I can just scroll this little scrolly bar here, value. I can just scroll it down a little bit, like so. OK, and boom, like so. Awesome. I can make one like this just by holding Shift. Okay, and you know what? I'm even going to make one even darker, like so. A nice dark shadow for my sword. Hiya. Hiya. Okay, very cool. Now, this is starting to look like kind of the blade of a sword. A couple other tricks. Boom, boom, boom. I think that looks a little better. And let's make a little handle here. Awesome. Okay, that's starting to sort of take shape. Uh, now, you know what? I want to make this sword a little thicker here. Maybe something like that. Okay. That kind of looks cool. Okay, very nice. Now what I need is a handle. I need a handle. So I'm going to select a nice brown color. Okay, maybe somewhere in there. I don't know. And I'm going to make a nice little handle. Okay, this doesn't look that good. But I'm not too worried about it. I hope you're not either. Don't judge my artistic abilities. Oh no, oh no. Control Z, Control Z, eraser tool. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to make a nice little hand. Oh, uh oh, change for it. Yep. Okay, I'm going to make a nice little handle here. Select my pencil. Great. Okay, fine. Maybe, you know what? You know what always looks nice? Black. Okay. Okay, awesome. Something like that. Cool. Well, you know, it looks okay. It looks okay. I'm not too worried about it. I want you guys to maybe spend some more time on your handle. Um, okay, I wouldn't mind wielding that sword. Maybe it wouldn't be my first choice, but what are you going to do? That's the demonstration. There's the sword. Okay, now, that's pretty much it. I just want to show you one more thing, which is super useful. Let's say uh, I want to I use this nice red color again, okay? Uh, but, or this nice dark color. But I don't want to go and try to find it again. That's going to be impossible. What am I going to do? Go like this? No, 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 no. Here's what you can do. If you hold the control key, your mouse turns into like a little eyedropper. So watch the color over here. So I hold the control key and click, click, and it changes to that color. Or click, like so, see that? Control click, and we select that color. So now, what I can do is just kind of go like so, you know, just kind of select and click, awesome. All right, now, uh, that is pretty much all you need to know. The shift click is a great, great move. 
shift click, you know, that's pretty cool. Also control click, very cool if I want to select that, okay. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Now all we have to do is, what do we have to do? We have to export it. So if you don't care and you don't want to see this in Minecraft, by all means, please end this YouTube video right now. But I'm just going to quickly put this in Minecraft. But you know what? I'm going to make it invisible first in the center because I think that looks kind of cool. Maybe an invisible little center area because you can make things invisible in Minecraft. Now, all I'm going to do is click File, Export, File, Export, awesome. And I'm just going to save it, I don't know, on my desktop, okay? Where is my desktop? There it is. And I'm just going to save it right there. And I'm going to call it my or Aaron Sword. All right, I think that looks kind of cool. Export, Aaron Sword.png, click export. And then it's going to give me some stuff, information here. Click export again. And voila, go to my desktop. And here is Aaron Sword in all of its glory. I have to zoom in to see it. Kind of cool. Now, I'm just going to quickly put it in Minecraft. Okay, now I'm using Minecraft Coder Pack here. I'm going to open up my jar. Open up my bin, open up Minecraft, 7-zip, open archive, very cool. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up my textures. And again, guys, if you've already seen this or you don't care to see this, by all means, you can leave now. But I'm just going to show you how awesome this sword looks just so that you are inspired to give it a try yourself. Now I'm using Eclipse here to try to run Minecraft. And hopefully it looks pretty sweet. I don't know, but that is pretty much all you need to know in terms of using GIMP for creating Minecraft images. <clears throat> now, uh, like I said, my name's Aaron. I'm a teacher at youthdigital.com. You may want to check out our website because we teach other courses on game design, 3D game design, app design, lots of cool stuff and actually we are just working on a Minecraft mod class where you can learn all this kind of stuff and more and let's see how this sword is looking okay 1.5 very cool and let's hope it looks cool does that look cool Aaron's awesome sword most definitely looks cool it's kind of hard to appreciate yes there's that invisibleness that looks pretty sweet Awesome. Cool. Let me roam the world here. Very nice. Hiya, hiya, hiya. My awesome sword is good at killing grass. Very cool. All right. And I think that pretty much concludes it, guys. Uh, I hope this was useful for you, and thanks for watching.